In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step process how to connect your custom GPTs to Slack and Discord. I know many of you have created some awesome GPTs and want to break them out of the ChatGPT site and start using them in the real world. By connecting your GPTs to Slack and Discord, you can also connect them with your team and share them with different communities, seamlessly inserting them into your personal workflows. There's no more hassle of logging into ChatGPT. You can have all of your various GPT assistants living right there in Slack or Discord. There are also some important advantages to being able to quickly and easily copy and paste between your different assistants, and I want to show you how to do that at the end of the video. In the past, connecting these AI assistants to Slack and Discord was an extremely painful process. So I wanted to create this video to walk you through the easiest method that I've found so you can get these things set up and avoid the mistakes that I've made in my own experiences. To show you how this integration works, I'll be setting up a Slack chatbot for my own business to help me brainstorm content ideas for this very YouTube channel. And I'm going to to show you the entire process from start to finish. This is a rock solid skill that you can charge for to generate some significant income. I think you'll be shocked to see how easy it is. And as always, I have a cheat sheet version of this in my Patreon with everything that you see in the video so that you can start to use this in your own business or begin generating income by doing this for others. And if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining my mission of helping entrepreneurs and marketers around the world. My goal is to provide you with practical AI skills that will drive your profitability and business success. In addition to these videos, I love coaching folks one-on-one -on -one or in group sessions to help them build profitable AI solutions just like the integration that you're going to build in this video. So let's get to it. So what are we actually going to be building in this video? We're going to be creating a Slack chatbot that will instantly generate content ideas for my videos and various social media channels. This chatbot will be trained in detail on my business, my audience, and what content has performed well for me in the past. I'm going to show you how to quickly create a document like this for yourself or your clients. In order to create this functionality, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need the Assistant API and a PlugBear account. It's worth mentioning that what we're building today is different than the GPTs that you've probably built in ChatGPT on your own by going through the ChatGPT builder and creating them there. Now the GPTs you create on the ChatGPT site are stuck inside ChatGPT and you can't use that functionality anywhere else. So we're building with the Assistance API to allow us to deploy to different channels like Slack and Discord, etc. There are so many advantages to using the Assistance API. When you know how to use it, you can unlock many useful capabilities, and these are the features that will bring lots of value to you and the people you work with. All right, let's get started. So this is a three-step process, and the first step is probably the hardest step, but it's probably the step you have the most experience with. This is creating the instructions or the knowledge base that you're going to use to train the chatbot. I like to do this inside of the ChatGPT mobile app, so I just open that up on my phone and have a quick little conversation about it. Here is a uh, transcript of that dialogue that I had with ChatGPT to prepare for this video. And basically, I just started with, hey, can you ask me a few questions about my business? The goal of this conversation is to have a summary that we can use as a knowledge base for future AI. And it responded with some questions. I answered it about the focus of my business. Um, it asked a few more questions. And then I asked it to please summarize everything that we've covered so far. It created this summary that got us pretty far. So then for the final step here, I said, you know, can you reformat this summary to be as useful as possible for an AI knowledge base or set of instructions? I found this to be very helpful because it reformatted everything in a way that the AI likes it. It formatted so it broke it down here business focus primary AI tools my target audience challenges that my clients face services provided impact on clients you can see this is very simple but it's very very usable and uh, from here the sky's the limit I'd like to encourage you to start simply rather than uh, trying to do too much here and make sure that you get something working I think it's easy to try to create a very extensive document that the AI I might struggle with I would say start small get something working and build from there but I did all of this in the app I encourage you to check that out and you may already have your instructions and your knowledge base from your other GPTs and you can just use that here for step one all right now for step two super simple we just go into slack and we are gonna create a new channel here 
create channel. I'm going to name this content ideas bot and next public. We're going to make this public because we need to connect it to the API. And for step three, we go to the plug bear website, which is just plug bear.io P L U G B E A R.io. We're going to get started for free. All right, you want to create your organization name. I want to mention that I'm not affiliated with Plug Bear, but I've been getting a lot of use out of this integration. So you can see along the top, these are the three areas that we need. All of these are in order of how we want to connect these things. We want to integrate it with our Slack. We want to allow the integration. I'm going to add the workspace next. Great, now we have Plug Bear connected to Slack, and next it's time to go into the OpenAI Playground and set up our Assistant API. So for this, you want to simply navigate to openai.com and log in. Click on the API. Go over here to your assistants on the left and click Create New. We're going to give this the name of Content Idea Generator. Then I'm simply going to copy and paste this knowledge base that we created in step one into the instructions section. And after we've copied and pasted our instructions in, we just want to add this at the top. You're an expert at creating ideas for YouTube videos. Your focus is creating videos for the Blazing Zebra channel. Here are the details on that channel. And I like to copy and paste this at the very beginning and the very end of the instructions. Those are the two places in the content context window that the AI will see most frequently. I'm also going to copy and paste in my top performing content. I spent a lot of time trying to upload a CSV file with all of my video stats, but ran into many, many errors and it just felt very buggy. I know some people are doing this, but I wasn't able to do it successfully. So if you're having any problems with that, you're not alone. I think that using these tools in the simplest way possible first and expanding from there is the way to go. In this case, I just grabbed the title of my top performing videos. I said, here are some of the highest performing content ideas to date. I'm going to select the model here, GPT-4 1106 Preview. I'm not exactly sure the difference between GPT-4 and GPT-1106 Preview. I've got a feeling that this will have a larger context window and maybe some other advantages. So I've been using that and having good luck with it. I'm not going to add any functions or code interpreter or any of these other uh, bits. I have tested these and I don't feel like I was able to uh, improve my results uh, above just this simple set of instructions uh, that I've walked you through how to create. So we're going to click save. And now we have this assistant. We can test it here. It takes a second to run. And if you already have GPTs working that you've built inside of the builder, you'll notice that this is fairly similar to how that looks. And you can just copy and paste your instructions from those right into these assistants and unlock a lot more functionality with these APIs. And here you go. These are some great content ideas, AI powered content marketing, AI and email marketing, social media and AI, advertising with AI. And you can tell from this prompt of just please generate some content ideas that would have generated much more <laughs> general ideas if we hadn't put this instructions in. So we know that it's looking at these instructions. We know that it is generating um, these ideas based on those instructions and you can continue to optimize Optimize these instructions as you see fit. You might want these formatted in different ways. You might want it to only generate a couple great ones, or you might want it to generate a ton, but it also gives you the titles here. Uh, so really helpful stuff. We know that this is working and now we can go ahead and attach it to Slack. Back inside Plug Bear, we're going to go to our LLM apps. We're going to add an app, OpenAI Assistance. We're going to add our OpenAI API key. And you can find that right back there in OpenAI's API section. Then we're going to select the assistant that we just created. Click Create. Next, we're moving on to the connections section. Add a new connection. Select the channel. We got our Epic Peasants channel, Slack channel, Content Ideas Generator. And there we have uh, the connection. Once we have all of these selected, we just click Create. The connection's been created. I want to note that I just saw there is now a potential of adding an OpenAI GPT. So you may be able to bypass going through the API part of it, although I would encourage you to get familiar with that section as it allows for a ton of flexibility down the road. Anyway, now that we have this created, we can go back into Slack and test it out. You can see inside of Slack, I got a message from PlugBear welcoming me, etc. And it has also been added into this content idea generator channel. So now I just want to go at 
plug bear please generate some content ideas and i'm purposely being very vague as i'm testing this i want to make sure that it's accessing that knowledge base to those instructions that we uploaded i like these little eyes it's working on it and again it it can take a second all right now you can see we've got two replies here let's take a look at this thread Certainly, here are some content ideas focused on leveraging AI, particularly ChatGPT and Thropics Cloud, should be Claude, uh, for marketing success. The ChatGPT revolution in, in marketing, comprehensive guide, Anthropic, automating content creation with AI. So these are some great ideas that it has generated based on the instructions. And we can continue to test and refine this and give it examples of things that we like, things that we don't like, and why, and just including those in the instructions. But I want to take it one step further here and show you how you can use these different assistants with each other inside of Slack. So let's say we want to dive deeper into one of these maybe it's AI uh, email marketing with AI I'm gonna copy and paste this copy and I have set up an outline generator bot here so with the outline generator bot I'm gonna just go to plug bear and say please Please generate an outline based on this topic. And I'm gonna paste that topic straight from the other assistant into this new assistant. I went through all those same steps, but I created instructions specifically on how to do an outline. I'll include all of that in the uh, cheat sheet. Let's just see what it comes up with. Oh, gotta invite Plug Bear. Plug Bear is looking at it. And just to reiterate, I went through those same three steps, creating a custom assistant trained on these creating these outlines uh, connected it to plug bear doing the same exact steps only with different instructions in the assistance API all right so let's take a look at this reply and this now has a whole outline for the idea that it came up with so if you take a look at here it has all the different things that we have requested in the instructions on how to create this YouTube video. And that's how you can just copy and paste from one assistant to the other, not asking any one assistant to do too much of the heavy lifting, really fine tuning each one on how to do its very specific role uh, well, and then just copying and pasting it one to the other. You can share these with your different coworkers and um, it can just really boost your productivity and I'm sure if you are working with clients they're gonna love to see this functionality as well other ideas include creating a bot to just vet the different ideas and find the best ones so you can very quickly and easily build a whole production workflow for your content and really any other type of decision-making or creative work that you're involved in all right again I have a cheat sheet version of this video and all of my videos available to my patreon supporters it includes everything here along with some extra resources to help you with these different assistants and the ways that I created these custom instructions and these knowledge bases. I've got dozens of cheat sheets just like it at this point and all of them are instantly available to anyone who supports this channel and my mission of empowering marketers and entrepreneurs worldwide by providing comprehensive and practical AI skills that drive profitability and business success. There's also some coaching options available if you'd like to work together on how to implement this with your team or into your particular workflows. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and dropping me a comment. That all helps so much. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Do it. Make your dreams come true.